Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game. And look what we have here, guys. A tutorial has joined the main menu. Um, they added a patch a few days after the game's release, and apparently it fixes uh, quite a few issues that the game had. And let's go ahead. Shall we jump into the tutorial? Welcome to the Dresden Files Cooperative Card Game Tutorial. Just follow the instructions on these panels to learn how to play the game. If you feel at any time like you've got the hang of things and you want to skip ahead to the showdown or return to the main menu, just click the gear in the upper right of this panel. Alright, I think we're in good shape here. Awesome. We'll go ahead and uh, quit that and start a new game. Now, we're going to go ahead and try Stormfront again, but this is what I'm going to do. We're going to go ahead and keep the wizard standard difficulty. And what I'm going to do in terms of... We're, Harry has to be in every game. It is the Dresden Files, so um, Harry has to be the main cast. But in terms of joining Harry, I think we're going to go right now for characters that have only been in Stormfront, which would be Karen Murphy and Susan Rodriguez. They were in the original book. And then as we move on to the other books, we can add more characters, which means I'll probably buy some of the DLC if you guys like that. But, uh... Yeah, let's go ahead and jump in here and see if we can actually win one. No advantage or objective cards are allowed at um, range 6. Okay, so with Harry we've got Pyro Fuego and a lot of Investigate, so that's good. We've got the Blue Beetle. Oh, his car, outstanding, without an actual picture of the Blue Beetle. Overcome one obstacle. It's not my fault. Looks good. Okay. Now, Karen, when you discard for fate points, add one clue to the case of the longest range. She is a cop, after all. As your turn, flip this card over to collect one FP for each foe with hits and each case with clues on it. Holy crap. That's nice. Raw determination. And what do you have for your cards there, Karen? Deadeye Shot, Surprise Aikido Move, In the Know, ooh, lots of investigation. Hmm. Alright. And Susan, Arcane Reporter. When you discard for Fate Points, you may add one clue to the case at the shortest range. And Timely Assist, as your turn, flip this card over to choose any one player including yourself, to draw one card, and that player takes the next turn. Seems reasonable. And 22 handgun. And she's she's not that much of a combat person. So we can take an advantage. I think that's the only one that we have like that. Overcome an obstacle. Alrighty. I think we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, we got Kaljazak, the Toad Demon, like right up here at front, which is not a good thing. And Morgan is all the way back there. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and have Susan go first. So we can grab this advantage. Yoink. Forged Invitation to take Speed Potion. Um, active player draws one card, then immediately takes another turn. You may move Kaljazak to the furthest range. Which I shall. And that actually made the obstacle cards go quicker. What do we have here? Overcome one obstacle, collect two FP, overcome one obstacle. Which that is a shame. Solved. Active player must discard an attack card. Is Marconi involved? Well, I guess we could go ahead. It's going to cause... If investigation solves target case, add three hits to any one foe. Ooh, I like that. 
Well, let's do a nose for news right here. To investigate ritual double murder for five. Okay, Harry. We have got two... And yeah, we can't even touch right now. Let's go ahead and uh, get rid of Private Investigator. And I can move. So let's... Move Morgan is watching. And now Karen, with all of her investigation, should be good. And I think what we could probably do here is... Yeah. Let's do that. Let's use In the Know. And because of the Morgan card that... Um, Blanks become negatives on die rolls. Let's roll. Thank you. Ooh, awesome. That is actually just what we wanted. And we will have that right there. For seven. Okay, Susan. Um, unfortunately, there's not a lot that we can do right there. We have four fate with a three range. So let's do press pass. Cost four fate, range of three, overcome one obstacle, and collect two fate points. Result of three. Excellent. Alright, Mr. Dresden. Um... Three and two. Let's go ahead and discard this for fate. And we're going to go ahead and move Morgan closer into range. Karen. Now, we can do this. Let's try... Investigate work. Ah, for four clues. Awesome, that actually takes care of this one. Uses detective work to investigate ritual double murder for four. And pick a case to receive three. So let's do... This one. Now, Susan, we can go ahead and if attack does not defeat target foe, add two one clues to any one case. We're going to go ahead and discard the 22 handgun. And by discarding, we added to that. We only need three to go. Five. Hmm. And we could still do a flat out investigate. And we can't actually destroy anything. Nothing's taken any damage. Add two hits to all foes in one row. Actually, the Pyro Fuego attack isn't that potent. So. This may actually cost us the game. Oh, well. Here. I will discard. And I'll move. Oh, I can't. Select an obstacle or advantage card to move. Crap. I should have read that a little bit better. Flip this card over to collect one FP for each foe with hits and each case with clues on it. Hmm. So there's... We can get go ahead and get this one. But Karen has most of our attack cards at the moment, so... 
Uh, let's do... Let's take out the giant scorpion. Awesome. Cost us less, less fate to use it. Susan. If the attack doesn't... If attack does not defeat target foe, add one clue to any case. And it shouldn't. So results of one. So we got another clue. Let's go ahead and put that on... Victor is missing. Okay, Harry. Probably we're going to get rid of uh, Pyro Fuego. Well, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and risk it. Oh, I could have used the Blasting Rod. Curses. But we still needed some Fate Points, so... Not the end of the world. Let's do... One, two, three... No valid targets. Oh yeah, that's just the range of one. Ew. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and discard this one. And we'll add that to Victor is missing. Expose. If investigation solves target case, add three hits to any one foe. That's awesome. So what we'll do is, he, she doesn't have any attack cards, and if we solve, if Marconi is involved, active player must discard an attack card, so it doesn't really matter to Susan. So we will go ahead and finish that one. And then we add, oh, we just do two hits. Boo. Boo, boo. So... Let's do that to Marcone's goons, then. Now, Harry, we will Blasting Rod. Well, let's see. Four hits. Three hits. Let me see what everyone else has in terms of their cards. Five fate. Four. Two. We need to save that, I think. Yeah, because that's, um, that's going to go ahead and kill Mar Marconi's goons outright. So we will Blasting Rod the Scorpion. That goes away. Karen, we will utilize the badge here. Well, hmm, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Two cases solved, three foes remaining. Connections. Now, choose any one player. That player takes the next turn. We're going to go ahead and discard this since we don't have any obstacles to overcome. Now, this is actually going to be good for us, I think, guys. Um, let's do, that has a range, oh, two clu clues to all cases in one row. This actually doesn't really matter to us anymore, so we will discard this one for fate points. And no thanks, so we can't really get beer with Max. Now, if we are lucky here... We can go ahead and roll. Eh, we were not lucky, which is a shame. Now, is there anything? Okay, we'll go ahead and use Susan's stunt. As your turn, flip this card over to choose any one player, including yourself, to draw one card. That player takes the next turn. Let's go ahead and try that with, um, hmm, let's do that with Karen. Uh, 
I'm not sure what she had, but Kevlar Vest, take advantage. Ooh. Um, active player draws one card and distributes two cards among the other players. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. And roll that. Huzzah. Give us some extra stuff to play. And we'll give all of them cards. Holy water. Hmm. Range of one. Two fate, two hits. And that's really not going to do us any favors. So let's go ahead and... Um... I'm not sure here. To if the shadow men let's get some fate and add another clue to who is the shadow man because why not now take advantage we'll discard that no target for the talent unfortunately and overcome May trigger showdown if used. Yeah, well. One clue to the farthest. I don't think we have any cards left except what Harry has. So. And Harry has the five fate investigation for. Oh, this is going to be... Well, no, what's the range on that? One range? Yeah, not a whole lot that we can do then. So we may have to go ahead and pass... Close as your turn. Ah, here we go. Here's what we needed to do. we got to wait for uh, Susan, though. Five will hit there for clues. Let's go ahead. No change there. And now we'll use Karen's stunt for a mighty three. And I guess let's go ahead and start the showdown because we've got nothing else to do. Showdown. No hits on the Shadow Man, unfortunately, so it is what it is. So for zero fate, I can do one hit, guarantee, or zero hits, and roll six. I'm going to go ahead and spend one fate. I had two to Marcone's goons. He goes away. And we can put two fate to get two automatic and five here. This is basically going to decide the showdown in the burning house. Because we have seven. Uh, if we complete this, we'll have more cases solved than the Shadow Man and Kalshazak can do. So, survey says... Add three. Oh, I think we did it. Woo! And zero fate, we'll just go ahead and roll, just to say we did. Add zero to Victor is missing. But I don't think it matters. Achievement unlocked, I want to be alone. <laughs> Victory! With the help of his friends, Harry was victorious. Okay, we are definitely starting to uh, get the idea here. And I don't know what this I means. Oh. Cool, it's basically everything that happened. Nice log there. Alright, well, that's Stormfront dealt with, and the next one is going to be Full Moon, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.